Men who have completely stopped dating what made you stop dating people? I'm just broken I think. Haven't talked to anyone since my last breakup in 2018. Lost all my confidence and motivation. I realized a lot of traumas and insecurities I had were. 1. Driving me to seek out awful relationships. 2. Causing me to have an outlook on life that was bringing me the opposite of the kind of life I wanted. 3. Causing me to hurt others. It's been a long, hard journey, but I'm getting there. We were planning the wedding and then after 9.5 years she cheated on me with another then got re. Engaged to that only knowing him for two weeks. Yeah I'm done for now. What made you stop dating people? The people. Daughter got cancer. Thought wife and I were working through it. Daughter off treatment for a year and wife decides her depression makes her not care for me anymore. And shacks up with another guy while abandoning me and the daughter. Broke my confidence and created a need to defend myself and child. Don't feel comfortable reaching that level of infancy with another person. If you don't play you can't lose. I'm tired, boss. Never started. There's pee in the dating pool. I tried. Probably too much. Friends told me to stop trying so hard and love would find me. Stop trying so hard. Love hasn't found me in over 15 years. Not even a date. Can't find it in me to try anymore. I now live in a tiny town 70 kilometers from any urban area. Unless you grew up knowing people here. Which I didn't. Everybody has already met everybody and chosen partners. I've given up really. I'm nearly 40 now and it seems like my chances for dating are over. Well this has been encouraging. After my last relationship I just don't find the motivation to date nor I get any feelings in that. Regard. That relationship had mental abuse in it so I guess it made me more closed off. A few instances that didn't work out combined with the fact that lately I haven't really been in much of a mood to be around anyone, let alone in a romantic setting. Last relationship really broke me. That plus years of unresolved trauma and addiction that I'm busy working on now so I can move on, grow up, and finally have a successful, fulfilling relationship and life. Prayers welcome. I wanted to eat pizza and watch football instead. Interests can change over time. Dating is costs versus rewards. I think it's important to ask yourself what you're truly dating for i.e. goals. How important those goals are to you. The costs of dating relative to those goals. And if it's worth it. For many, the answer is no, especially over time. Haven't been willing or interested in starting a new relationship since my last one ended because it took such a toll on me. I haven't quite recovered, yet. If a soldier breaks his leg in battle, he doesn't get sent back until his leg heals up. I wouldn't be a worthy candidate as a partner right now even if I wanted to date or if someone was interested in me. I'm still a bit of a liability and I don't want anyone to get hurt. I'm ugly and I'm proud. I'm ugly. It's too much work. I realized I was dating out of fear. I went on dates all the time because I was scared to stop dating. To stop putting myself out there. And especially to become so reclusive that I'd die old and alone. Dating was just compounding the fear. Each failed date added to the fears of dying alone. But now that I've stopped dating, I've had a chance to see the pattern and break it. Now I'm trying to find a partner without dating. And it's been way more relaxing and enjoyable. You know a lot of girls or guys for that matter that would be interested in a below average. Looking. Socially awkward and unemployed balding French nerd with a fetish for role-playing as a latex end. Leather horse gimp? Yeah well me neither. It's peaceful and most dating is just temporary. The effort to reward ratio isn't worth it. Too much unreciprocated effort. 
dating world is completely lopsided. If I meet someone by chance, great. But I'm not playing a game that feels rigged in someone else's favor. I buried everyone by 24. People find reasons to be hurtful and ugly to one another. Especially socially acceptable ways of doing so. Trust. I'd rather hang out with a horse and have them listen to me wonderful listeners. Poor conversationalists. Maybe they'll brain me with a hoof one day. But they'll never lie. Manipulate or steal. They're honest with what they are. I know what to expect. A lot of modern dating is just depressing. On apps, I'll get maybe 5 out of 100 matched, many of which are bots. A lot of dating apps feel like being those birds that have to be flashy and dance. In person, sometimes, women will think I'm weird just for approaching them in a bar. Maybe it's just me actually being weird unintentionally. I don't know. Aside from initial impressions, I'm disabled. The older I get, the less interest people show in me. A woman might like me, but she also has to consider the fact that I'm not financially stable because of mental health issues. The episodes related to bipolar disorder are also a big negative. The juice ain't worth the squeeze. I know women generally dislike dudes who hate doing shit like actually going out on dates and reading stories about it online make it sound so daunting I won't dare destroy my mental health and try online dating and meeting new people IRL is such a chore. I have enough distractions that dating is at the very bottom of the list. I get really attached thanks. Childhood trauma so when it doesn't work out I spiral into a depression. I'm also really shy which makes dating a little difficult. Like I told my friend one time. It would be so easy with her because we could just skip the dating phase I'm not friend zoned. We just live on opposite sides of the country. Wasn't my decision. All the women got together and decided not to date me. Too many hobbies. Too many things to think about thanks to ADHD. I just simply can't stop doing things long enough to go seek out people. Unless Miss Wright is also at the taco shop. I'm good. I don't feel the need for it. I feel fine by myself and have good friends to spend time with. And I feel like actively dating almost always ends in chaos of some sort. Mind you I am still in my early 20s so things may change but right now the thought of never finding. Someone doesn't bother me because thanks to my friends I will never be lonely. And that's all I need. After the end of my last relationship a couple of years ago I've been uninspired from going out. Looking for more. Why? Do you know of any nice girls in my area that happen to be available? Realizing my family still controls my life. I know when to hold M and when to fold M. The fact is a percentage of the population is undateable. I happen to fall into that category. It is what it is. I got cancer. Wife decides to leave me as she doesn't want to be my caretaker and admitted she had multiple affairs. We split 50-50. She tries to get court to split my 50 again. I loved and trusted her for 12 years. It was all a lie to use me. I won't be used again. I'm ugly and old, broken broken. My romantic history consists entirely of rejections and toxic relationships. It's simply not worth the grief to put myself out there. TBH I never really stopped. I kept keep trying and since my last long relationship there's prob been like 4-5 shorter ones. For some reason I have little luck sometimes. Me and a buddy used to joke about how I always come in second to some other guy. I'm kinda seeing someone newer now and have anxiety that she'll just start seeing some other dude. And be too chicken shit to just tell me. Truthfully though, I know everyone's got their anxieties and baggage and trauma. But fuck giving up. Nobody got rich and famous by rolling over when shit got tough so even if I try and fail a billion times. It'll take one win to make every failure worth it emo.